Hello. So I'm, I cannot speak louder because I'm, it's, it's late in the night and all babies are, are sleeping. And apart from mine, the update is that uh, these days are the most challenging ever. Mentally and physically we are completely fucked up. Me and my girlfriend are really, really, really down. Nothing to worry about, but um, in the last four days we slept really, really, really few hours. Yesterday I didn't sleep, Claudia slept only a bit. Uh, it's really, really challenging because we think we are close to the point when our baby will do a big, good step. We are very close. It's like when you are doing a, like a marathon of 10 kilometers and when you are 8 kilometers, basically two kilometers left. You are very, very tired, obviously, but that is the point when you have to give the max. You, you have to give all what, all what you have because just a little step and then you are very close to, to the finish line. <laughs> I have never been so tired in all my life. Even my teeth are tired. I, I think I should just quit. Just stop passing me, you jerks! No, I need to power through. I didn't train for months to give up this late. Time to dig deep. Think of that Olympic runner who finished with a broken leg. That was really gross. But the point is, if he can do it, so can I. Now, come on. The finish line is right up there. One foot in front of the other. We are at that time now really really giving the maximum that we have it's really challenging uh, physically and mentally uh, our baby is getting better but still uh, we had a problem with him uh, for the last two days he lost uh, 135 uh, grams which is not a good thing for a premature baby with his problems uh, his main goal now is to is to put weight on day after day constantly this is the first call for him because he has a problem he has a big problem with the with lungs and the only way to solve it is to to put weight on in order to make the, the lungs grow because when the lungs will become bigger you will be able to breathe properly and better so that's the main goal the problem is that uh, he doesn't want to eat a lot uh, and that's typically for a premature baby like him and that's why we are here pushing pushing ourselves at max it's really challenging really 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 so yes we are a little bit worried because he lost 135 grams because we don't want to go back to the, to the tube down his nose we don't want to go back to that also because he's getting uh he's now 30, 37 weeks or 38 weeks and he cannot go back to that so we need to find another solution the problem is that he also had problems with the belly as you as you know forcing him to eat a lot is not good for his belly and so is all the problems are going around and around and it's difficult to find the way the way out the exit uh, here we are ah i forgot to tell you there's another little good news he's he's back on the normal children bed the incubator is gone hopefully for good but we don't know feet on the ground like every day see you tomorrow bye